Hello class, I'm Jessica Cervantes, and I will be presenting on Elvis Presley. So a little on his background. Elvis was born on January 8th of 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi. He grew up in a small two-bedroom house in Tupelo. His family struggled with money, so due to their lack of a solid income, they lost their house and moved around to a lot of houses in Tupelo, Mississippi. But then, in September of 1948, his family decided to move away and out of Mississippi, and they ended up in Memphis, Tennessee. In Memphis, he attended a low-income high school. So after Elvis graduated from high school, he went off to look for a job. He had gotten a job as a factory worker at M.B. Parker's machinist shop. He then started to work at the Precision Tool Company. And lastly, he worked as a truck driver for a small truck for the Crown Electric Company. Now, his genre of music. His genre of music was rockabilly. Rockabilly is a combination of the blues and country music. Elvis got inspiration in his music from both African Americans and white music. White people from the South like to incorporate African-American sounds to their music. Most rockabilly artists found music in the Southern churches. So his music was heavily influenced by African-American blues, Christian gospel, and Southern country, mixed with his personality and style, of course. He was influenced by singers like Buddy Holly and Chuck Berry. Now, his career. Like many Southern rockabillies, Elvis recorded with Sun Records. His live performances were successful. His performance at a small location and at Summer in Madden Hall was his first. Before that performance, Elvis just seemed weird to the audience. He dressed differently, had greasy looking hair, and wasn't playing the usual rhythm and blues. But after his performance, they were all amazed. Elvis had a very successful career. He starred in 33 films. He made many special appearances on television. He has sold more than 1 billion records worldwide. He has gotten gold, platinum, and multi-platinum awards. He has won three Grammy Awards and has also served in the U.S. Army. Now his audience. Elvis's audience consisted of white teens. Usually a lot of them also being from poor backgrounds. Young teen females were also a big part of his crowd. And his crowd also consisted of African American teens. Now his social impact. Elvis Presley was an international sensation. His sound uniquely combined diverse musical influences and blurred the racial barriers. Not only did his music blur racial barriers, but his style challenged the social barriers as well. He guided a whole new popular culture and a new era of American music. Now, his fashion trends. Elvis Presley was a fashion icon. He was the Lady Gaga of his time because he could push the limits of fashion and make it into something cool and trendy. He wore casual suits, he rocked fashy jewelry, although you would not catch him wearing denim. This is because denim reminded him of being poor, so as an adult, he refrained from wearing any denim. He wanted to prove how successful he was by refraining from it. But he would wear his sparkly jumpsuits, which he was very well known for, and finish his look off with his greasy hair. Boys everywhere started dressing just like him. Now his dance trends. Elvis was a very passionate dancer. His dance moves usually involved lots of hip movement. Some believed his dance moves were too sexual, although many enjoyed his rebellious dance with his swiveling hips, especially his young female audience. Now his stage presence. Elvis had a very rebellious expression while on stage. With his greasy hair, his oversized clothing, his turned up collar, lack of tie, and most importantly, his swiveling hips. With all of these features and many more, 
many thought of him as a rebellious person pushing the limits. Now, his popular songs some of which include Heartbreak Hotel, which became the number one hit in 1956. Six. Some more of his popular songs include Jailhouse Rock, Hound Dog, and Love Me Tender. Now, who he influenced. He influenced many famous singers and artists. For example, he was an influence for John Lennon. And he was also a big inspiration for The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, Cliff Richard, Billy Fury, and many more. That concludes my presentation. Thank you all for your time and attention. The end. Have a nice summer.